on Cranberry Lake in northern New Jersey, and I'm going to be doing some bass fishing. I'm just about to haul in a little mini bass boat, and before I start fishing, I'll give you a little tour of the kind of rig that I'm fishing out of. But anyways, uh, today's a pretty decent day. It's kind of 50-50. Uh, you know, it's overcast and cloudy, which it could be sunny, and it would be, you know, it'd be a little bit better. But it also could be really windy, and uh, you know, I really have flat, calm water out here this morning. Uh, it's only around 11:30 uh, a.m. right now. I kind of got out in the water a little late. Uh, I was being lazy and uh, it was a little chilly this morning. It's only in the upper 40s right now. So earlier this morning around 8 a.m. it was about 35. And I wasn't looking forward to fishing in 35 degree weather. But um, the air temperature is supposed to slowly start climbing into the, uh, the mid upper 50s. And um, even, even if it doesn't get up that high, I still think I'm gonna do pretty well and catch some fish. Um, you know, I think today will be a decent day if, if I can at least catch a 10 pound bag or better of uh, you know five largemouth. But uh, let's get let's get to it. Let's uh, start catching some fish. All right, fishaholics. So let me just give you a little tour of my little mini bass boat here. And uh, this little bass boat is a Gungava Prince Craft Deep V 12 foot aluminum boat. A nice little boat that I kind of tricked out for bass fishing. And uh, for instance, up here, I went to Home Depot and I got a piece of two inch plywood and uh, very cheaply and effectively built a little platform so I could stand and fish in the bow of my boat here and as well control the electric motor. Uh, this electric motor is just a Minn Kota 45-pound uh, thrust hand-controlled electric motor. Uh, very, very simple, you know, not too expensive. And uh, then I, you know, this wire here is the fish finder that I connected to it. This is the little Lowrance uh, fish finder that I use, mainly for, uh, you know, knowing what kind of bottom content I have um, and also uh, what kind of depth. You know, that's like the two major things that uh, I like to know when I'm out fishing and how I find fish. Come towards the back of the boat here. Uh, you know, I got this cooler, which I use primarily as a live well when I'm fishing in local and public tournaments. And, uh, you know, but I also use it as a, a dry storage. You know, especially on a day like today where it looks kind of iffy, it might, it might rain or something. But um, anyways then, as you move further towards the back of the boat, I got two rod holders here, which I use in unison sometimes with the little mini downriggers here, which I have on both sides of the boat. Uh, I use these downriggers a lot when uh, I'm fishing Round Valley Reservoir for uh, lake trout, and they're, they're little fish catchers, these little downriggers. And then uh, right here, I got the heart and soul of the entire boat, this little Mercury uh, outboard, eight horsepower, four stroke. Nice little engine. Uh, we've had that since 2007, and uh, you know, I winterize her every winter. And you know, she's just, she's a killer. She uh, she can push this boat up to around uh, you know 20, 20, 25 miles per hour with just me in the boat, and uh, the live well is obviously empty. All right, guys. Well, that's my little uh, mini bass boat rig, and uh, you know, it's a pretty simple rig, but it catches a lot of fish. And I actually bring this boat a lot of times up to you know, tournaments, if I'm competing in Bass Nation tournaments or Bassmaster Open tournaments, I'll use this as a little boat to pre-fish with. And uh, I actually did that on Lake Champlain in 2014 on the Lake Champlain Bassmaster Opens up in Plattsburgh, uh, New York. I brought this little boat, I fished Ticonderoga, you know, and uh, I, I fished up north in Pla Plattsburgh. You know, so I fished two solid days, I found some really good p patterns, and it paid off in the end because I actually ended up catching a, uh, you know, fourth place finish in that tournament and uh, you know I got a, I got a good solid check and you know it was phenomenal I actually fished with Aaron Martins on the uh, the final day of the tournament in the top 12 and uh, that was just a cool experience and I haven't been in any uh, open tournaments in uh, a year or two but uh, I'm looking to fish uh, on Oneida Lake this summer and uh, Lake Champlain again uh, in the, this fall anyways uh, let's get to let's get to the fishing right up and um, I'm ready to go. I'm gonna start off the day back here in this little shallow grass flat 
and then to the left of me up here is a creek arm and uh, you know the bass love to push up into this little grass flat and uh, up into the little creek um, in the early spring so I'm gonna give it a shot I'm gonna first uh, try a suspending jerk bait give this a shot Check the water temperatures. Forty forty nine point nine or fifty degree water temperature, that's not bad at all. This rock wall here looks good. Try a cast along this rock wall. Oh there he is. Fish on. That's not the right kind of fish that I want though. <laughs> Pickerel. There he goes. Let's see what else we got here. There he is. Another pickerel. <laughs> Darn. Oh, he came off. That's good uh, Good for me, less work to do. I got a big bass underneath this dock over here. I can see him sitting underneath the dock. I'm going to go around from the other side. I can't get a good cast in from this side, so I'm going to leave and sneak up on him. I switched over to a little Bitsy Bug jig, my early springtime favorite lure to use. There we go, perfect skip underneath there. First one of the day on the Bitsy Bug jig. Let's see if he's a keeper. I'm gonna weigh my my top. Oh, he's 12 inches. <laughs> so I'm gonna weigh this little guy. I'm gonna weigh my top five fish for the day. <laughs> I'll be lucky if this little guy's a pound. All right, so he's a 10 ounce little largemouth. 10 ounce bass. <laughs> So I got 10 ounces on the board. Cute little chunk. There he is, fish on. Oh, it's pickerel. On the Kitek swim bait. Oh, he came off, good. <laughs> then I, at least I don't have to mess with him now. All right, guys, well, I came to a different area here on Cranberry Lake, and I'm throwing right now a little Texas-rigged Kitek Easy Shiner swim bait in Sexy Shad. And, uh, you know, I'm trying to search for some bass here along the shoreline. I just I just had that pickerel, you know, hit, like, as soon as this swim bait hit the water. I'm hoping there's a few bass around here. Right now, I'm kind of targeting a small little cove. There he is. Oh, another pickerel. Wow. Another pickerel. That's not good. Cast after cast, <laughs> and I catch another pickerel. All right, don't break me off there, buddy. Look at this guy. He's got a gill that looks like someone ripped out of him, and he's still, he's still alive. <laughs> nice chunky pickerel. Okay, that's a little guy. 
Nice chubby little bass on the Bitsy Bug jig. Probably not going to measure, so I'm going to throw him back. Not even 12 inches. Might be a keeper. <laughs> okay. About 12 and a half inches. Just gonna get a quick little weight on him. Eleven ounce little largemouth. <laughs> Eleven ounces. There he goes. Alright guys, let's try and catch some more. Um, so far today I've caught three bass and uh, you know, only two were keepers, so um, you know, one was 10 ounces, one was 11 ounces. I've been seeing a few bigger fish, but they're, they're really spooky, and they're sitting on the corners of the docks, and um, you know, I just haven't had a good shot at one, but um, you know, I'm catching little guys. I got a little bit of time left here, so uh, let's see if I can at least scratch a limit today. I basically just caught that bass just flipping to the corner here. You know, whenever you're dock fishing, you know, the corners seem to be the best locations to always flip your little jig. Little Toto up there is uh, barking, barking pretty good. Where's Dorothy? Some good logs here in the water. There could be a... Oh, there he is! <laughs> there could be a few bass here. There's a little one. A little baby bass. I'm hoping there's a few bigger bass on these log structures here. After I caught my first bass of the day on the Bitsy Bug jig, I decided just to stick with the Bitsy Bug jig. You know, I did switch on and off to, with the Kitek Easy Shiner swim bait, but you know, I was getting a lot of pickerel fishing the swim bait, so I decided just to go back to the jig and uh, you know, just work along the shoreline and fish docks because that's where. I've been seeing most of the bass, they're kind of, you know, staging on the docks right now and on the wood structure that's along the shoreline. Right there in the corner. There he is. Oh, there he is. That's a good one. Right there in the corner of the dock. Probably the biggest one of the day, at least. Okay, nice chunk. Oh, yeah, look at this. Oh my gosh, this bass is so chunky. Oh my gosh, look how short and stubby that bass is. Right in the corner, just when I, just when I called it, I had a feeling there'd be a bass there. This fish might be a pound and a half, and he is so short. Wow, just on that Bitsy Bug jig. Oh, yeah. My drag was set a little loose. This little guy almost took me around the, uh, took me around the dock. Okay. A 14 inch chunk. 1.6 ounces, guys, if you could see that. got a little deformity there on his lip there. <laughs> he looks like he's been caught a hundred times, that little bass. There she goes. All right, so I got uh, three keepers so far. <laughs> um, it's getting towards the end of the day, but I might still have a chance to uh, catch two more, and then uh, then, it, you know, then I'll get off the water and uh, you know add up my total weight. Let's do it. Let's just put some more of this little Berkeley power bait bass attracting on this little Bass Pro Shops Incredible Craw Trailer, and I'm ready to go. Let's catch some more. There he is. Oh, it's another keeper. Okay. I'm putting a decent limit together now. They're getting a little bigger. 
each fish I catch is getting a little bigger each keeper. Let's see how long this one is. Oh gosh, this is a crazy fish. 14 and a quarter. All right, let's see how much this little guy weighs. Oh, don't shake, buddy. Uh, I got him at 1.4 ounces, I'll go with. There he goes. What's up, guys? And uh, I'm back here at the launch right now, and I'm getting ready to haul out. But um, anyways, after catching my fourth keeper of the day, uh, I decided to make one last run to another small little cove and uh, you know try and scratch out that fifth fish. But uh, while I was running to that last spot, the little pin here that prevents my electric motor head from spinning popped out, I guess, from vibration. And uh, basically that pretty much made my electric motor pretty much useless and I couldn't use it anymore for the rest of the day. And uh, luckily I have a backup pin in my, uh, in my car, so it's an easy and quick fix. But um, after the pin popped out and I couldn't use my electric motor, I decided pretty much just to call it for the day. And uh, all in all, I think today was a pretty decent day. I mean, uh, the bass were on the smaller side, yes, but um, you know, it was it was some good, it was all in good fun. And uh, you know, it was a puzzle today. I had to I had to really figure out where the bass were going to be, what they were holding on, and uh, you know, throughout the day, I realized the bass were gravitating towards the docks or hard or hard wood structure. They were gravitating towards that. And uh, I, have a, I have a feeling the reason they were gravitating towards the hard structure or the docks was because the last few days have been unseasonably warm in the day and then unseasonably cold at night. And, you know, when the air temperature at night drops down to 25, 30 degrees, a lot of these bass like to gravitate really close to that hard structure. And that's probably why most of these bass that I caught today were on docks. But um, anyways... You know, I caught most of my fish on a Bitsy Bug, and I think my total weight at the end of the day, I did the math in my head for my four keeper fish is like three pounds, 15 ounces, which is like a world record smallest bag. But um, I think if I caught my fifth fish, I probably would have had just under five pounds. Uh, it's kind of pathetic, but, you know, they were, they were spunky little bass. You know, it was fun, fun to catch them. And uh, I caught a bunch of decent sized pickerel today, which, uh, you know, is always a good, uh, good bonus fish to catch in my book. But um, anyways, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, just post them in the comment section below. And if you want to know what I was using or what tackle I was using and how I was catching fish, just uh, look in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you out on the water.